Hello friends, welcome to video tuition. In this video tutorial, I am going to demonstrate how effort and cost saving can be calculated for test automation. Of course, there are many benefits of using the test automation over manual execution, including tangible benefits like calculating the cost and saving, but there are other intangible benefits also like uh, repeatability, reusability, faster turnaround, etc. In this video tutorial, we are going to concentrate on calculating tangible benefits like cost saving or effort saving. Before we jump into the savings part, we need to see like how the effort can be calculated. First, we will try to find out manual execution effort, which should be straightforward. And then we'll try to find out how the effort for automated execution can be calculated. Now it seems easy to find out the effort involved in automated execution, but it is not going to be that easy. There are many factors actually involved where the human intervention is required when we are running test automation using the automation tool, which actually sometimes uh, being ignored by the automation tester. In this video tutorial, we are going to concentrate on those factors. Now, let me talk about how the estimation for test automation execution effort can be calculated. As you see on the screen, there is a model which I have developed for calculating the same. It has input section here, which includes the number of simple test cases, number of medium complex test cases, number of complex test cases, and it gives the total including all of them. I understand sometimes we don't have the breakup of simple, medium and complex test cases when we are running a set of uh, automated scripts. So we can actually just enter the number here, the total number of uh, automated execution that we are going to perform here. And then based on some uh, percentage formula, we can calculate how many simple, how many medium complex and how many complex test cases we have. For example, we in this uh, demo i am considering that we are running 1200 automated scripts so out of this 1200 automated scripts i am considering 30 percent of 1200 which means 360 test cases to be the simple one 50 percent of 1200 to be the medium complex one which is like 600 now and the remaining should be the complex one so that's how like we can quickly uh, come up with some kind of a, a breakup like this if we are sure of like how many simple, medium and complex test cases we have, we should be able to provide this information here and then the total should sum up in this section. The next input uh, criteria is the number of times we are going to run our regression suite. Okay, it could be one, it could be two, three, four, five and so on. And then the next one is about the complexity of the test case. Some uh, application could be complex in terms of execution, some could be simple or some could be having a medium complexity. So based on that, if we select the value, it should change the value with some uh, complexity index as we talked about in my last section. So once we are done with the input section, let's move on to the model. In the model, as you see, there are multiple execution sub activities. So these are the activities I have listed out based on my experience of running the test automation where we need manual effort so for example when we talk about the machine setup it is a it is a manual activity M machine cannot be set up automatically if we are running a subset of say for example 1200 test cases we need to identify how many from 1200 we are going to run which all those test cases will be that sorting searching we have to do we have to set up the machine for the execution and moreover, we sometimes know that uh, not all the 1200 can be executed in the given time. So what we do sometimes is we split the execution across multiple machines. So if that is done, we really put the human effort in there. For ease of the calculation, what I have done is I'm considering eight hours of time and uh, say for example in eight hours and hoping that we have uft or the selenium scripts uh, i am saying like uh, we are able to run 70 scripts in a day okay or in a given time frame and for 70 scripts i need 15 minutes of setup time 
to set up 70 uh, 70 scripts on a vm or a machine so for a simple test case the calculation goes like this and this this looks a longer formula but it is actually easy when we understand this so the calculation goes like this whatever the number we have in in the simple bucket will divide the total number by 70 now the 70 is coming from here for each 70 set of scripts i am you i am consuming 15 minutes of human time okay so if the number of scripts is less than 70 we are still gonna need 15 minutes for setting up the machine okay and if the count is more than 70 we are dividing the entire number by 70 and then multiplying it by 15 minutes so this will give you how much time it is going to take for n minutes okay and, and we are talking in minutes here okay so it's going to give me total number of minutes for setting up execution for 360 test cases and so is the same calculation for medium complex and complex test cases okay the same formula will repeat it, it does not really matter whether these uh, the same, we are setting up simple test cases for execution or a complex test case for execution all right uh, the next category is about the coordination so when we talk about the coordination we need to do certain activity with uh, with the team say for example test data is one thing that we would like to set up sometimes the test data has to be entered right before the execution or they are like you know some kind of environment setup needed before the execution so maybe lesser or maybe higher but coordination is always involved so based on my experience for again 70 scripts i i think that okay 10 minutes should be the time and based on that i have done the same calculation again which we have done in in the machine setup time the next one then is execution monitoring time when we are running the automation we expect automation to run smoothly but that's actually not uh, uh, true when uh, when we observe the performance uh, of the script there are always some reasons uh, automation tester to monitor the script execution and when it say that okay, it could be like you know the environment is ru ru running fine or our automation script is running fine to check all of that monitoring time is required so in my criteria what i have done is for 10 scripts i am mentioning one minute of time which is like a human time and i know one minute is very less here but when we talk about the entire suite um, this number will still be or oh, higher the calculation will go like this for again the total number of test cases whether it is simple medium or a complex test case the total number of test cases divide by 10 and then multiply by one minute all right so that's how it's going to be for uh, execution monitoring the next activity is failure analysis and that is where we see the difference of simple medium and complex test cases in failure analysis once the ex execution is complete we try to find out why uh, there are failures uh, in practical scenario not all the automation scripts we expect to to pass it could be valid failure it could be failure related to the automation scripting it could be failure related to test data it could be failure related to sync issue or something else as well so in failure analysis activity we try to find out what is the root cause of the failure is for simple test cases i have considered 10 minutes to analyze one failed test case for medium complex i have considered 15 minutes to analyze one medium test case and for complex considering 20 minutes for analyzing the root cause of the failure now when we see the formula here i'm considering the 20 percent failure which is the uh, industry standard when we say for example when we are running 100 test cases we expect 80 80 test cases to pass and we expect some failure and those failure is like you know 20 case, case, test cases according to the industry standard so out of three uh, 360 test cases which we have in simple category i'm expecting 20 percent test case to fail and so is the reason point two here and then i multiply by multiplying it by 10 minutes which is the time for analyzing one simple test case all right and that's how i get uh, execution i mean uh, failure analysis time for simple test case the same calculation goes 
for uh, medium complex test case uh, except uh, here the analysis time is uh, 15 minutes in place of 10 minutes and for the complex one the analysis time is 20 minutes the, the last activity is the test reporting and this is again regardless of whether the uh, test case is simple medium or complex rather i have actually done this on a, on a major suit basis i'm considering for uh, consolidating the information for 500 automation scripts would take about 15 minutes and then start to start reporting it and so uh, the same calculation is done here uh, total number of test cases divided by 500 if the number of test cases are less than 500 then it will be 15 minutes if the number of test cases more than 500 so we'll divide the the entire suite by 500 and then multiply it by 15 to get the uh, effort in minutes then we sum up the effort here and it gives us the total effort uh, for simple test case for medium complex test case and the complex test case and this is how like if we sum up these three values here it will give us the value for the effort by one iteration so far the, the calculation that has been done is by one iteration but say if, uh, if we have a multiple round of executions to be performed which is the value here in the input uh, section then we know how how long it is going to uh, how much time uh, it is going to take uh, in terms of manual effort for running this many scripts by uh, in in this many rounds all right so that's how the, the effort is calculated here in a small table below i have shown one quick example for a matrix point of view that how much effort uh, automation tester is actually consuming for running a simple medium or a complex test case so that means here for simple test case we are consuming 3 minutes for medium test case we are consuming 4.2 minutes and for complex test case uh, the automation tester does consume uh, 5.4 minutes now all these activities were in minutes but then we calculated here in in hours now once we know how much time it is going to take to run this many set of scripts uh, by the automation we should be able to move on to the saving step this is an, another model which i have developed for calculating the effort and cost from the test automation now let's talk about the input section first in input section i have included two parameters here one is the qa cost uh, qa means your uh, manual team cost per hour and the other cost is for the automation team ideally it should be the blended cost i mean when i'm i'm saying blended cost which means is some people are located in uh, in say for example in us some people are located in india or other geographic location so the cost of uh, all those people should be calculated based on the geography and then the blended rate should be put in here to come up with the exact calculation but for ease of calculation i have just uh, uh, taken the same value for both qa and the automation team then uh, for the manual execution effort uh, these are the parameters which i have considered and whatever the values you see in my model you should be pretty much able to change because these are like excel based formula uh, if some some values are less for you some values should be higher for you you should be able to change it uh, as per your project need so it's pretty flexible and scalable uh, for suiting to any project requirement now talking out again uh, manual execution effort so uh, based on my experience working on multiple project i take about 30 minutes for uh, executing one simple test case and about 60 minutes for uh, executing one medium complex test case and 90 minutes for running a complex test case so i have considered this parameter to come up the number here uh, for media for simple medium and complex test case when we see the formula for manual execution of earth uh, i am taking here 30 minutes and then dividing it by 60 to calculate the hours uh, and then it should be multiplied by the number of simple test script which is uh, c5 as you see here execution that is the reference of the execution sheet and then the cell is c5 there 
and then 30 minutes divided by 60. Same goes with the medium and the complex. And automation execution effort we have just calculated here. So these uh, I have pulled this number here in the second row and I'm getting this value. I have here a total effort column in hours. So it gives me 1140 for manual execution effort and for automation it's just 81 hours. All right. And then I am uh, calculating effort saving per iteration here. So when I deduct automation execution effort from the manual execution effort, it gives me the effort saving per iteration. Okay, this is for a single round of execution. In my input section, I have considered two rounds of iteration. Okay, so when I calculate the same wing, for two rounds, it, it gets multiplied by another round, I mean two. So it gives me the total effort saving is 2117. We can extend the same calculation to calculate the cost saving. Considering the costing we have, uh, we should be able to calculate manual execution cost from uh, multiplying the dollar value with uh, the total number of effort consumed in manual execution and the same way for the automation. This should give us the, the cost saving per iteration here. And if we multiply, if you want, if you have multiple rounds of execution, so that also can be uh, done here by multiplying the number of iterations. here. All right. So that's how actually we calculate the effort saving and the cost saving for the test automation. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, please click on like button and share with your friends. You would also like to subscribe to my channel and visit my website for getting the latest update. Thanks again for watching.